Dear Derek Chauvin, Chavin, Chauvin, however the hell you pronounce his name, <laughs> honestly, we have a message. I think I just want to ask, what exactly was going through your mind when everything unfolded? The amount of people that were surrounding around you, holding out their phones, yelling, pleading that you take your knee off of George Floyd's neck, and the fact that you were able to not even care that you were crushing somebody's life and then ultimately end up killing them. Derek Chauvin. Were you not aware of the events that have been partaking around the United States in the past and even in the present to this day? Are you not seeing what is turning into such a chaotic measure that what one person can do can also impact the whole entire country? The fact that this man was able to just simply have his knee on somebody's neck and not even flinch for a minute, knowing he's suffocating it. The reason why we kneel is exactly from what you did. We don't have a voice. And when we do talk about it, you choose not to listen. It only takes us an event to then protract and realize, oh, something's going on. The racism is so deep and so serious to the point where we just start losing it. And then we take our time and grieve for those who we lost. And then after that, things go by, back to normal, back to a place where racism has always existed. It's not something that can be easily removed and it's not something that will be removed. But can we at least finally now say that this is becoming an issue? For an issue that has been talked about and dealt with for over a century, and now you see what you've done? From now on, whenever you Google your name, you're not gonna be named as an officer at a local Minnesota police department or for working for the city or for whatever he did, but you're also gonna be named as a man who murdered George Floyd. I don't know how he's gonna be able to sleep at night. I don't know how and what was going through your mind. It just makes me think, you've seen the news, you've been on, you've been watching CNN, you can't turn a blind eye from this, and you choose to strongly believe that all lives matter, and that this isn't an issue, and it just has me curious, what the heck was he thinking? Through a time where a pandemic is occurring, and we should be working together to fix a pandemic, we have another issue going on. The real question is, when will enough be enough? Dear Derek, you're an idiot, plain and simple, hope you understand that what you've done is severely unforgivable and you can't replace a life and i hope other officers take note of what's going on and people start to be less racist you can be racist to other ethnicities but the history that has been going on between black and white hope you learned your lesson <sighs> r.i.p george floyd